Hey guys, got a little surprise this morning. Um, we are kicking off, kicking off a new series that is marching into your best health. That is our You Can Keto theme for March. We've never done this theme before and I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Well, one of the things that um, marching into new health will have is um, some new recipes. And got a little surprise for you guys this morning. How many of you have remembered, like, how many of you been, oh, first of all, I'm Amy Smith Hightower. I'm a ketogenic meal planner and mentor from Bates Flower Pencil, who, this is my month. We will celebrate five years of You Can Keto on March, or me being keto, not You Can Keto, but me being keto, uh, March the 17th will be five years. It is been, I cannot believe it's been five years, y'all. It just blows my mind how crazy, how crazy one post can be that says, I need your Dr. Pepper and Oreos, and it has turned into a keto community of 190,000 people. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm so grateful every day that it happened. That's what I know. Number two, um, how long have you guys been following me? If you are new, just drop new in the comments below so we can connect. But if you're not new and you uh, need to know these two facts, number one, you know that you can share these videos out. We are shorting our prize packs again. We are doing three prize packs um, for every video. So you're going to write shared on the comments. And if you share it, uh, we will pick three winners who will win there. You can get our prize pack. So you're going to want to share this out. But if you guys have been following me for very long, back before, I think it was back before COVID started, we... Um, my sister came on board and she was helping us do like cooking lives and some behind the scenes you can keto stuff. Well, COVID hit, um, she became a homeschooling mom, <laughs> choice or not, she became a homeschooling mom. Things got busy, life kind of got busy, but I have surprised this morning. Hi. Hi. So we're gonna do a cookie live for you guys. Who's excited? Drop me some, fun. like, tell us okay, you're excited. Oh, I gotta go, okay, sorry. Sorry. We, um, and guys, the recipe that we're going to show you this morning is for a lemon vinaigrette dressing, dressing, a salad. So, dressing. so many of you have talked about salads and salad dressings and what can you use that is a keto friendly salad dressing, mm -hmm. right? And we're going to march you right into your best health with a new video and is, with dark hair. And How with, much yeah. do we look alike now? Yes. A lot. A lot. A lot. It's crazy. And it's so funny because... Uh, when our hair's blonde, we know. Nobody knows who I am now. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. It is really cool. Kinda Especially when we had to wear masks everywhere. Yeah. So everyone was like, who is, who is that? that? And why is she speaking to me? So, um, <laughs> yeah, we're exactly. American Idol. I'm an American Idol fan. I'm a Luke Bryan fan. Let me just throw that out there. So that's why I watch American Idol. It's Luke Bryan like three times a week. It's great. Anyway, she reminds me of like Katy Perry, like because you bet hers are wigs or whatever. Like, uh, yeah, I was so confused on Sunday night, like because her hair would go dark oh, yeah. and because it was just different clips, like dark and short and light, you know. So, this is uh, that's what it reminds this me of. This is my natural curly, um, two times. No, mine, to is, mine is not curly, mine is there's nothing. Uh, we have this Haley, the girl that does both of our hair, and she's my our mom's too. She's like. She never understood where my hair came from until she started cutting my dad's hair, mm -hmm. our dad's hair. And then I have our mom's hair. And she is our mom's hair. But it's basically about the same color. Yeah. So Okay, so time to get started. Yeah, no. The perfect great. way I like to start any salad is with a mason jar. It's perfect to keep in the refrigerator, put in your lunchbox. You know, like I've talked about previously, I do, I do my husband's meal preps every Sunday. So if I do any kind of dressing or if I make guacamole or salsa, anything of that sort, mason jar it is. I feel like we need to do this summer a mason jar. Thing. I'm a mason jar I, What do you guys think? I think a mason jar would be fun because, you know, I posted and you guys, you can go to my, this regular page, scroll down, and you will see a couple of food saving tips like for mason jars as well. How to store your fresh fruits, etc. in mason jars. Okay, so this is the only mason jar I had cleaned because I don't have a dishwasher and I have a million things in mason jars and I didn't have time to search for anything else. So it's a little larger than typical, typically I would use, but it'll get the well, job done. how many ounces do you normally use, like a mason jar, do you know? Just one of the small ones, so I guess they're 8 or 12 ounces. Eight or 12. One of the yeah, smaller, smaller, like the jelly ones. I call them the jelly. Oh, yeah, I that makes know. sense. I just, I, for, I don't know. Just small. This is just, 
This is the mason jar, but it's the bigger one, the 16. It's a cool, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, here's a juice of one lemon is what I'm going to start out with. And I've cut my finger, so I didn't juice it right here in front of you. But anyway, I did. I had to have help with that or it would have burned. Okay, juice of one lemon. Oh, we got lemon. Okay, and then a third of cup of olive oil. Oops, making a mess. Can you all see? It's so funny that she just said that about or about the olive oil because Catherine makes massive fun of me for, or not massive, but saying. for how I say oil. Um, it's pretty funny. Did I say it funny? No, I said it. Uh, we say it Arkansas, and in other parts of the country, it doesn't, our accent. Okay, and so this right here is two shallots and one garlic, and I've just put them in my chopper and mixed them up, and I'm just going to spoon them into the jar. Right here, like so. Now we're not making a salad for this today, guys, because you can use um, you can use any of the um, salad recipes that we have, and you think you know. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. I like some fresh cracked pepper in mine, of course, to taste whatever your preference is, and then pink salt, of course. Gotta have some pink salt. Pink salt is one of those you can keto kitchen essentials, right? Like and then vinegar. just a tablespoon of vinegar. I prefer champagne vinegar. You could do the white wine vinegar. Whatever's good just for make your... Just sure, make sure you read the labels on that and check out a good brand that doesn't have a bunch of fillers in it. That's really the only thing. That's white vinegar. She likes champagne vinegar. And I think the sugar count on champagne vinegar is fine as well. I did Google that. So perfect. Yeah. And then... That the secret ingredient. And then... This is this is your your um, area of expertise. Exactly. If this is not high enough in your fat, uh, because you know that you on your if you're doing your macros, you know that your healthy fat should be at least twenty um, grams more than your um, than your protein grams, right? So we have to get our MCT oil in every single day. I do up to three tablespoons. Do what works for you and where you're built up. But what we do is on this one, and I'm gonna post this uh, recipe later. It doesn't have the MCT oil in it as a ingredient, but I'm giving you guys the option if you need the healthy fat. So this is um, MCT oil, and that's what I use on that. Now, uh, the You Can Keto Cupboard, um, go to youcanketo.com, and on the cupboard, Click on Amy's Cupboard and the link to the um, MCT oil that I use is actually on there. I would just add a little bit of, I don't need the uh, the seeds in it, obviously. I would use something uh, to squeeze that. But I would just add a little bit more lemon at the end to get any of the excess, excess left off the sides. Shake it, and it's perfect for any kind of salad. I would also take a lemon and do some zest on top of your salad, and it keeps it. Margarita. What do you guys think? Do you like the mason jar salad? And if you're, if you want, if you're a meal prepper, you can actually, my, like, and Sarah can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think you can do this like on a Sunday. You do it in a big jar. You would obviously make more. You would just add, you know, double the recipe, etc. But you could actually use that for, I don't know, how long do you think it would last? About five to seven days. Yeah, so I would keep it in the fridge. A week, week right? You could do, um, put it in the fridge, and that way you've got your salad dressing made all the way around. What do you guys think? I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm so glad. Share, share this video. You let me come back today. So, so and guys, we're not going to do videos every Tuesday or anything crazy like that. We're not going to commit to that in our wildlife, but we are going to come back. We are going to do more stuff together, and we are going to bring you a couple of surprise You Can Keto lives. Right? That's right. With cooking recipes. Um, I know that they're super close to camping season starting off for them. Like, we're super close, um, and I'm sure she will have some really cool um camping tricks to keep it healthy as well and i will do those on my facebook reels and my instagram reels Perfect. so thanks guys Bye. have a fantastic day you're turning off right share this video out have a great march into your own health march march march